So twisted twig, what's happened is I've come up against a jiu-jitsu or aikido guy and he's gonna put me in a wrist lock. The way we're gonna practice it in the ideal stage is the guy's basically gonna grip and put me into the wrist lock, okay? That would probably never ever happen. If this were to ever happen, it's probably gonna happen in the course of combat, whatever. Maybe I'm doing five swords and he grips my hand and goes for the wrist lock, okay? But let's try ideal for right now. As he comes up, before he, he comes over the top of the circle because there's nothing going on here, especially if he's making a big circle. If he's making a small circle, I'm probably screwed, okay? So if he's making a big circle, I'm gonna step in. There's two ways you can do this. You can check down and pop your elbow up. I tend to like to push this away because I don't want to fight down on his arm. Because his elbow's already up like that, I'm just gonna go ahead and shove, get my hand out of the way, and slip my upward elbow. From here, I turn from my neutral bow to my fighting horse, to my outward elbow, then to a reverse bow, hammer fist is growing. Again, if you're striking high, you're checking low. If you're striking low, you're checking, you get the idea, okay? He gets to grab the wrist, I check, boom, and I slip that elbow up. One, two, three, and I'm out. At speed. Shut up, rules, yeah! Shut up, bro!